Welcome to Urban Nest Living. I'm your host, Chef Tish Tansel. And, and a lot of us have store-bought barbecue sauce at home, but the, the great thing about store-bought is that you can enhance it. And that's what I'm going to show you today, how to take a barbecue sauce that's already prepared and enhance it. And we're going to really amp up that orange flavor. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is saute some onions. And so I love to use coconut oil because it adds a wonderful flavor to foods and it's got a lot of great qualities to it. So, okay, so that's about two tablespoons of coconut oil. And so I'm gonna turn this on to low because we're cooking this slowly. We're not trying to cook it quickly. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is saute my onions. And that was about one cup of chopped onions. And you're going to stir your onions and make sure that they're all coated in the oil. So now while our onions are becoming translucent, I'm going to start working on another aspect of our orange glaze, which is namely the orange. Now one of my favorite things to do is to use my microplane and take off some of this orange rind on here because that orange is gonna add a terrific flavor. So what we're doing is just taking off the top layer of skin and that is where all the flavor is. You don't wanna go down too deep because once you get to that white part, you're gonna have bitterness and we don't want our chicken bitter. We want it nice and tasty and flavorful. Okay, I see that our onions are now translucent. So what I'm going to do is add our garlic because I want the garlic to get a nice caramelized flavor as well. And if you've noticed, I love caramelized onions and garlic. And like I stressed before, don't let that garlic cook too long because it will burn and you don't want to have that burnt flavor. Okay, so now our onions and our garlic have a nice caramelized color. The next thing that I am going to do is add our barbecue sauce. And you're just gonna add this right on in with the onions and the garlic. And we wanna make sure to get all of that out. Okay, and we're gonna set that aside because we're gonna use this again and I wanna make sure that we don't dirty up our kitchen. Okay, so we're just gonna stir in our onions and our garlic into our barbecue sauce. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to let this barbecue sauce, the onions and the garlic just cook a little bit and we're gonna let that simmer. And so we're gonna start adding in our other elements to this um, orange glaze. And one of those elements is the orange rind. Now you can just add that right on in and so I'm just going to start uh, finish off actually peeling this. So we're gonna stir this in and you can really smell this orange coming out. But we really want a lot of orange flavor. I love a lot of orange flavor. I want people to be able to eat the chicken and think, wow, this has got a really great orange flavor. So that's what we're doing today. Now, the next thing we're going to do is utilize the entire orange in this. And so what I'm going to do now is juice my oranges. Okay, so now we have fresh squeezed orange juice to add to our orange glaze. And this is going to make a wonderful flavor. Now, one thing that I'm also going to do, because this is a reduction, I want to add a little bit more flavor. So what I'm going to do is just take a can of low sodium tomato sauce or tomato juice, and I'm just going to pour it in. So that's going to give us about two cups of liquid. And this is just to add a little bit more flavor and a little bit more liquid to our mix because we want it to reduce down, but we don't want it to be goopy. And so that adds a little bit more flavor plus a little bit more liquid. So I'm gonna add this into our base that I've already made. Because this sauce is actually going to cook a good hour. We're gonna wait on that chicken. 
and we're not going to put it in just yet because we want this sauce to have a lot of flavor and we don't want it doing uh, going into the chicken and making it soggy we want it to be like a nice glaze over the chicken that's going to absorb some wonderful flavors so this has to have some wonderful flavors and that's what we're building right now okay so now our base is made so now it's time to start building up some terrific flavors now if you notice I did not toss away my orange and as you can see on the inside there's still a lot of orange flavor in here so what I do is just chop it up and you don't really have to chop these small because we are going to be taking these out but I just toss these inside of the barbecue mixture as well So all of this gets stirred in now. Okay, so I turned up our sauce and so I'm going to let it start to boil a little bit. Not a rolling boil, but we wanna just make sure that it heats up because once it heats up to a certain level, we're gonna turn it down. That heat is gonna bring out the flavor in these oranges. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna add a little cumin this is cayenne pepper and it's about a teaspoon of cayenne pepper we want this to have a little bit of heat to it and this is sugar now you can add brown sugar you can add honey this is coconut sugar and so I love the flavor of coconut sugar because it has a natural caramely flavor and I think that adds a great deal of enhancement but brown sugar is great molasses is great anything that you want to add sugar wise is great um, but the standard is probably going to be brown sugar, but we're doing something a little bit different today. We're adding coconut sugar. So that's about one cup of sugar. And finally, this is some kosher salt. And you do need some salt to enhance your glaze because you want it to have a lot of flavor. You don't have to add a lot of salt, a little salt will work. And last but not least, some sriracha. And what sriracha is, is like Asian hot sauce. So we're gonna add a little bit of that because that actually adds a lot of flavor and a little bit more flavor component. But not a whole lot of sriracha. If we need some more, we'll add it later. And we're just gonna let this simmer for about a minute. Now it's been about an hour and as you can see, our beautiful orange glaze is done. It's reduced quite a bit and it's really nice and thick and has a terrific orange flavor. So it's time to put this over our chicken. So I'm gonna take the chicken out of the oven now. So I'm going to take a ladle and we're just gonna ladle it off onto the chicken. And um, I am going to put the chunks with the orange in here because I really want some of that orange flavor on the chicken and I want it to be really intense. But this is a beautiful sauce. I hope you try it. You can find this recipe and more on my Facebook page at Facebook slash Tish Tansel or you can email me, that's tishtansel at gmail.com or tweet me on Twitter at urbans.live.